Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this a beautiful Monday morning with myself and Sheila and my very good and lovely little friend, Natalie, who is over in the demo area. Hello. There she is, looking all cheery. I know. Summery. She's, She's got sore legs today, however. Oh, my God. She did. I can't uh, walk. I actually can't walk. No, I thought she'd got a limp, but she hasn't. I said, are you limping? She said, no, I'm not. And um, you recently got a bike, didn't you? So I know you've been doing some yeah. um, vigorous bike rides. And so I thought, I bet she'd been on a bike. But she did a big walk yesterday. A big so, walk, yeah. Um, she's, she's suffering a bit today. It's, it's quite bad, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, at my age, to have hip pain <laughs> is not a good thing. Um, um, but Natalie will be demonstrating today. Um, so welcome to all of you. Thank you for joining us. Um, we hope the weather is nice where you are. We've had a beautiful weekend here in the northwest. Um, so we are going to get straight on and tell you what we have coming up on today's show. So, as you can see, as usual, we have our Win It Weekly competition, um, which we'll be telling you about shortly. And then we also have our introduction to a beautiful Peace on Earth collection. That's the beautiful um, pad and the dies and the stamps as well, which we launched on Friday on Create and Craft. Um, very beautiful, you're going to love those. And then we'll be going across for some demo time with Natalie, who will be using those products as well. And then we'll go back to Natalie again because she's good at doing the news. <laughs> she does think she's a news reader, so we're going to hand over yeah. the hunky dory headlines to Natalie. Um, and then we'll be giving you a little bit of um, card inspiration, as it says there on our list. So we've got a few things to get through, but it should be a nice, relaxed um, hour or so. And we are glad that you can join us and we hope we can, we can give you some inspiration and some nice tips and ideas as well. Um, but first of all, we have our Win It Weekly competition. Um, so let's just give you some VT on this. So, today's prize, it's really good. I love it, I love it. So I came in here and it's on the shelf behind me. This is your opportunity to win the Personally Yours Alphabet script die. All you need to do is like, share and comment um, and we will be announcing the winner on Friday's show. Um, so, this is the question. Who is currently, and I hate this question, <laughs> With a passion. Not my favourite, but yeah. Who know. is currently our box making champion? Is it Dan, <laughs> Super Saver Man, or myself? But well, you know it's you know who it is. I mean it's been on the news and everything. <laughs> World News, BBC News, <laughs> ITV News, Sky News, Fox News, CBN. It's been on them all. You won't have um, seen it because it, you were on telly on Friday, Sheila. Oh, um, but I did try and um, better my score. Okay. I was one second behind Am well two seconds behind Amory. This is good. So I got to two thirty three. I tried to do a little trick, didn't work. Um, so I tried to score when I put my card stuck on my scoreboard, I tried to score at like the one inch mark and then the one inch mark on the other side. <laughs> but that actually made it shorter <laughs> on the two sides. Okay. So then I was like, right, this isn't gonna work. Had to go back and score it all. Um, I didn't cheat. Use some hunky dory finger lift tape. Good to girl, stick it down. good girl. Um, did my little cuts, but yeah, still, still a long way to go. But that's pretty good because if you, I'm proud of if, myself. For yeah, that if you imagine that you'd done that the first time, because as you um, rightly said, when because you were the first person to do it, mm -hmm. when you did it, you actually lifted the card up and you cut it. Yes, in my in, time. In your time. Yeah. So you know. I'm very. I was very proud of myself. Yeah, but person. you've been totally honest, as we all have. Um, you know, so we'll say no more on this. We've already, we've already had this issue. Shall we, shall we, we just like, to we, let it drop? Yeah, let's just brush, we'll brush it under the let's rug. Let's brush it under the rug it for now, there. till it next time. But anyway, um, <laughs> that's your question. And that is your chance for you to win this fabulous um, set of dies. We love this, don't we? We love this set. We I use this love, yeah. such a lot in the office. And um, when we're making anything um, that we need to have like words on, or we're making bunting, or we just uh, we use this so much. Um, 
It's a, they're great size dies as well. Definitely. Great size. Yeah, great for, especially if you're making um, like more home decor stuff yes. or you want to make gifts for, for people like room signs or on doors and things like that. Anything that needs a bit more of a personal approach, this is a really good sign and you can win this. So you just need to answer the question, like, share and comment and the winner will be announced uh, live in our show on Friday. Anyway, let's now move on and tell you about this week's pick of the week. And this is our Moonstone Peace on Earth collection, which is beautiful. It's it's really, really lovely. It's very festive and... Um, <laughs> got there in the end. We got there in the end. There it is on your screen right now. <laughs> we thought we'd just give you a quick it's little tour. It's a good tour job of... that I wasn't like having a drink or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And snoozing or something like that. We got there in the end. Um, yeah, but we're going to show it to you anyway. Um, but anyway... Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's the pick of the week, the Moonstone uh, Peace on Earth collection. Um, do we have Emily? Yeah. Do we have a little VT with this now or not? I mean, we can do it now, but it was meant for later. Okay, because uh, j just ignore me, people. I'm not usually presenting on these. I am usually demo area. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's all kinds of code words on here, and I'm like, oh, what is this? Anyway, so we've done the pack show, haven't we? So. Mm -hmm. Let's um, show you some of the fabulous products. So first of all, we're going to show you the uh, the state. Well, it's our stained glass collection, um, and obviously it just replicates stained glass windows yeah. as you see them in a church. Beautiful. So we're going to show you first of all the um, angel. So this is our peace on earth angel. Now then, as you can see there, it's. Even though it's kind of stained glass and these would normally be very a very traditional thing, there's still some contemporary style going on with this, I think. So you're going to get the three dies. If I turn it round, you're going to get the outer um, oval and then you're going to get the inner detail, which has got the angel on. So with that die, you can actually cut in. You can just cut in with that one. If you put the frame on, it means you can cut out the whole oval. Um, and then we have our beautiful joy um, sentiment here and again it's beautiful it's all done in that um, stained glass effect writing as well um, so it's really really lovely um, we are going to uh, get Natalie to show you some fabulous projects that have been made with this just to give you a bit of inspiration and give you more of an idea of what the stained glass collection is about yeah so this is a, um, a beautiful card that uh, I think Catherine made this one um, so what she's done is she's used the outer and the inner layer to cut out the detail onto some ink meat and then she's heat embossed this which gives you that beautiful glow um, which she's then laid on top of um, one of the pages that you get included in that paper pad um, and then again she's used the outside to create an easel here which you can see and then it has that beautiful wording on the bottom but that is a fantastic way um, to use the dies then we have this wonderful card, which I absolutely love. If we bring it closer, you can see it has that beautiful blue on the background, but we have um, an outside edge, and then we have the cutting detail on the middle panel. But doesn't it just look stunning? It's so striking in white. It is. It's very simple as oh, well. It's, it's so very lovely. stylish. It's it's so very, lovely. very lovely. And then when you open that up, you do have that blue um, background that she's created with some inks there. That could also work as sympathy, couldn't it? If you, yes, you know, you yeah, obviously these aren't. Put the joy in there, but it's really lovely. There's so much scope for the occasions that you can use these cards for. Yeah. And then we have this one, which is just so pretty. Barbara has made this one. Oh. Again, in that beautiful gold detailing, which has been layered on top of the um, paper pad and then with the piece underneath. But like you said, Sheila, um, these aren't just for Christmas. No. You can use these for all sorts of... Um, occasions, weddings, probably anniversaries, um, thinking of you cards would be great, especially with this one with the angel on. I think that would be really, really pretty. Um, but just for sort of people in your congregation too, um, to send cards too. Absolutely, yeah. And I think as well, if you're, we always say this, but if you're fundraising or you're raising money for your your church, um, again, these are these are gonna be lovely they're gonna I think people are gonna just love them they are so apt 
if you are a regular church goer or you you do raise money i mean there's always something you can raise money for at church isn't Definitely. there whether it's the charity whether it's the mother's union whether it's the um church roof appeal you know anything like that upkeep of something um it, they're really really beautiful and i think as natalie said you can use these for different occasions baptism confirmation um even birth sympathy christmas i mean with the angel i i think you could if you cut the halo off and even cut the wings off even you can you, you, well keep the wings on you could use it as a fairy but you could also use it as a little girl just holding a sentiment do it in bright pinks and all different colors there's loads and loads of things you can do with them and i think they're an absolute bargain at 14.99 because i agree you know, you, you're gonna um use these time and again so if we go on to our next one now I love this one. This is our nativity one. So what we've done here, we've put this in the traditional um, arch, which is perfect for a, for a stained glass window. Really, really lovely. And this has the word peace with it. Again, three dies. So you've got your inner die, which you can cut in. And then you've got your outer die. So, it's, um, so it cuts that lovely window. And again, nice to do gatefold cards with this um, die as well. And then you've got peace at the bottom. I love the way as well, if you cut out the word, you can still add some colour inside there. So you've almost got like a stained glass sentiment. Um, if I turn it around there, you'll be able to see the, the three different dies there. Um, again, I just love this collection. I think it's beautiful whatever colour you cut it out in, whether you do it in black, whether you do it in white, whether you um, add some... Um, ink on top and some powder to heat emboss, cut it with a background of parchment, uh, acetate, there's lots and lots of things you can do with it. Um, and Natalie is now going to show you a few more projects with a nativity seat. Yes I am. There's so many beautiful cards that have been made with this one. Um, this one has been made by Jane and it has, I really like the way that it's got that background. I think she's mm. made that using our prism inks. Um, but just adding this onto some um, Ink Me, some Mattastic. You don't have to go um, super crazy with how you make these ones. This one is a really beautiful example of that. Um, Kat has um, cut the image out. So the uh, you have a lot of ability to um, sort of deconstruct these dies mm. and make them into something different. Um, so with this one, Kat has cut out the oval, the image out of the oval frame. Um, and then she's paper pieced, just some bits that she wanted to stand out a little bit more, but just using those two shades of purple. Um, it just looks absolutely beautiful, that one. I really, really like that. Yeah, very lovely. And then using the die, the outer die, to create a card blank. So you can see here that um, that is what Kat has done. She's run that through her die coin machine, just leaving this side off slightly. And then she's made this image into a card. So you can do that too. You can make lots of different shaped card blanks with that beautiful imagery um, on the front of it. And then this one, I really, really like. Rachel's done this. It's very different. Um, she's used some of our pearlescent powders to do this. It's a glistening gold she's used on our black matastic. If I hold it there, you can see the image. Um, you can just see it shining through. So it's exactly the same image, but you can create some really, really different cards with it. It's really, really clever, isn't so it? So good. I love the the way it's got. It's, it's just completely different to yes. any of the other projects that we've um, that we've seen. So it's really, really lovely. Um, so our next one we're going to show you, which again I think is going to be a favourite with a lot of people. Um, this is our Robin. Um, so peace on earth, Robin. As you can see here, we have given you the square shape this time. So we've actually got the outer frame um, square die. Again, so you can even just use this on its own and cut yourself a lovely square. Then you've got the inner section with all the detail on showing the robin in amongst the um, holly, the berries sitting on a, on a twig there. And you've got all this other detail around the edge. So again, with this, you could actually cut the circle out of this and make something really nice. The sentiment in here is Noel. Um, so again, three dies, 14 99 absolutely beautiful. And we're going to go across to Natalie again now, and she's going to show you we'll some show fabulous some projects cards. with the Robin. I think this is really great because not only is it square, so you can make those sort of six by six cards, but you can use your dies um, to create backgrounds. So here, this is what Kat has done with that Noel. 
um, just creating like a border background with the words um, and if you can get a little bit closer you can see that what she's done is she's used the same paper pad twice and actually cut into one so you can see um, that there's just a little bit more added dimension to those um, pieces where she has cut and layered her image onto it. And then we have another large one here that was made by Rachel. Um, she's done a great job with this here. She's actually used two sheets but cut into them, added some um, of our adorable scorable, the same colours that you see within the die and just been able to create a, a really nice large card. I love the layers on here as well because um, she's got that using foam pads, she's got um, the sides on foam pads as well. It just gives it a little bit of an extra look. This one is another one that I really really like um, because she's just cut away the inside image of that robin, left the sort of holly around there which gives you a really nice sort of aperture frame um, which Rachel has put the Noel sign into. Um, and I think she's used some papers that were left over from our um, Ponset Forever from Florals Ponsettia. So using dies like this is a great way that you can pull out sort of all yeah. of those papers that you might have in your collections and your kits that you've used all of the main items, but you've just got those papers. You can use them really nicely with um, projects like this. So this is another one. Um, on craft card and then white and then she's coloured in the um, some of the little pieces sort of that would resemble the glass using um, some prism pencils which I really really like. There's so many good ones here but I have to show you this one that Barbara's done because it's just fantastic. Um, she's cut this out and laid it onto parchment so there's parchment panel behind here which she's coloured in don't know if I can show you if you can see that any better but it is absolutely stunning and then around the outside she's used some gilding flakes to create that beautiful um, effect that you can see there um, it's so nice it's just such a beautiful collection really really lovely cards can be made with this yeah definitely I think um, I could see some comments people really liking these some people saying how much not sure one lady said she's not sure how much use she would get from these um, we wanted to say that with these dies there's usually a lot more you can do with them than you actually first imagine so we you know we're trying to point that out now so with the robin yes. um, we thought that also if you use the robin if you back it onto white and then colour it in. You can do it in any colours. You could do it blue and yellow, make it into a blue tip. You could just do it all brown, use it as a sparrow. You could add green and yellow, use it as like a like a green finch, or you know, you could add other colours, make it as a as a chaffinch. Again, like we saw on the card where the centre section had been cut out and just put Noel in there. Um, again, you could use that for winter birthday, you could put happy birthday in because it's got holly on and it's got berries and it's quite wintry. Um, there's lots and lots of um, other occasions you can use them for, Definitely. I think, um, particularly with this one, which is the star. Um, so on the star here, we have Believe. So Believe, not necessarily Christmas time. You could use that at any, any time. You can use that on an inspiration sheet or maybe inspirational quotes on um, some home decor. But again, this is another beautiful set. $14.99 and again we've got the three dies so we've got the outer circle and then we've got the inner detail section which has got the star in there and then we've got believe um, now I found with the star one it was really easy to layer this up two or three times and almost create your own decoupage with this but we said it would be good to make coasters from it would be good to um, cut the star out use it for maybe celebration like graduation or you know, passing your driving test, maybe winning a dance competition. If you think someone is a shining star, you could put the star on there. So I think you'll get lots of use from this. And the centre section as well is almost like um, a bit like a geometric flower. So you could use that as a flower as well. We've not mentioned even really, have we, about cutting them out and using them as stencils as well. Oh, yeah. um, I think this one in particular has got that Moroccan feel as well. So almost like a Moroccan 
tile that you'd see in maybe a palace or a bathroom or on a, a floor in a, in a restaurant. So it's all about looking at them and thinking, what else can I do with this? Um, they do make as well um, fabulous sun catchers. So if you cut two out and then put a piece of acetate between it and colour them in with your alcohol markers, hang them up in a window, they do look quite beautiful once the sun comes through. Um, so there are lots and lots of different ways. Natalie will show you some more samples here using the star. So again, you can get some inspiration and maybe some different ideas that you wouldn't have naturally thought of using them for. This one is a really nice one. Um, just using the die and cutting it out and layering it um, onto a piece of cardstock to create a background which is a little bit different. Um, I love the effect of the white and the craft card that this card creates. Then we have, like Sheila said, using the dies as stencils. Um, so if you want to create some funky backgrounds, um, you can do something like this. This one has that beautiful believe sentiment running across the middle. Um, if you want to use them with your paper pad, this is a great idea by Kat. She's used three pieces um, here, but they're all layered differently. Um, and it just gives it so much more dimension to the front of the card. You can see there how um, this outside edge sort of dips inwards. Um, and then she's just added some gems on there to finish it off. Um, so you do obviously have the pad here included, um, which we'll show you later on. But there's so much you can do with the pad. This is another great example where she's cut, cut in the detail into the card blank, but then layered the paper pad beneath it to create a lovely little window there. I, that's such a good idea. I hadn't seen that one Isn't before. Isn't it? It's really simple Really well. simple, but it looks so pretty. Um, and then lastly, we have this fabulous one that Barbara's made, um, where she's used some of our glitters in the background there. Mm. And this creates just a, a really nice sort of shimmery, um, shine to that card. I really, really like um, that example. But that, like Sheila said, there's so many different things you can do with dies. Um, you can get really creative with the types of cards that you make, and not just cards, but projects. Yeah. Um, these can make some really nice sort of, um, you could do like a, a lantern with these. So it's specifically with like the archway or the square one, if you cut, because they're cut in dies, if you cut them into, the same size panels and then stick them together, add parchment or yeah. something behind it, um, put some lights in it. You can make some really nice sort of 3D lantern projects. Um, the sun catcher, like you said before, we're gonna show yeah. you an example of how to make one of those um, in just a few moments. But there's so many different um, things that you can do with the, um, with the dies. The possibilities are endless and because yeah. they're, tools you're going to be able to keep these and use them year after year um, even if it's just for those more special occasions mm. the the more sort of because a lot of people have asked for more of religious themed collections yes so we have this beautiful piece on earth stained glass window die set um, and it's just a great one to because it's such a great price, you get all the four dies and the paper pad, you're gonna be able to bring them out year after year. Yeah. Um, and once you have finished your paper pad, that doesn't mean that you still can't use the dies because there's so much you can do without using the paper pad with these dies, but I think that they're fantastic. Yeah, I do. I think it's really nice as well. Um, if you cut each one out individually and actually put them in front of you. So you cut them all out of black, put them in front of you and have a look at them. And I think the more you look at them, the more ideas you get. That's what I did, I cut quite a lot out last week and thought, I wonder if I can cut into that three or four times and layer it up. And again, it's all about bringing some of your other um, uh, stash into it. So again, if you've got the glitter card, uh, if you've got parchment, you've got vellum, if you've got acetate, you know, you might want to do your own crazy background. You might want to do them really bright. You might want to do them very subtle. Uh, and that's the beauty of the dies, I think. Just you can uh, buy them on their own or you can buy them as the bundle um, with the pad. Um, but yeah, there's such a lot you can do with them. Dies are an amazing um, concept that's been brought to us um, in the crafting world. And I don't know how I managed before like 30 years ago when I didn't have dies and dye machine. I don't know how, what I managed to 
create and how I managed to create it. And I'd, I did used to do a lot of cutting and obviously um, fashions change, but dyes are amazing, you know, and if you get with your friends, get crafting with your friends, they have different ideas. You know, you might want to get one or two of these between you and, you know, swap them over and cut a few and then mix and match them. There's all kinds of um, things you can do with them and I would love to see what people do with them because yeah. I don't think we we get to see a lot of what viewers do um, and you probably interpret it in a totally different way to what we do and you probably have completely other ideas that we might never think of so again it'd be really nice to see what our viewers do with these um, you know your ideas that come from within you as well um, okay so we are the we can yeah. repeat the competition question. Um, yes, because I can see that on the on the comments, and some people were asking what the prize was as well. So we'll pop that onto the screen for you, and we will just recap on the question, which is who is currently our box making champion? Um, I'm not bitter. <laughs> um, is it Dan? A. Is it B. Super Saver Man, or is it C. Myself. We just need you to um, answer this, like, share and comment and you will be in with a chance of winning our fabulous Moonstone die here. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. Big chunky letters written in that fabulous, um, almost like italic font. It's really beautiful. Personally, your script alphabet, that's to give it its correct title. And you're going to get the whole alphabet. I know you can only see a few of the letters there, but when you open out the packaging, you've got the remainder of the letters in there. You've also got the Amphisan as well. So that means you can do big Mr. and Mrs. plaques if you want to, Mr. and Mr., Miss and Miss, Mrs. and Mrs. You can do the whole, whole thing for everyone all over. Um, fabulous, fabulous dies. And you're in with a chance winning these. You don't have to even move out your chair. You just click on the button and we will announce the winner on Friday. So that is the prize that you can win. Um, so now we have got um, Peace on Earth paper pad, which we're going to show to you. Really now then. Over. We've got a what? Demo. We have got a demo. I'm sorry. A demo. I'm just racing ahead here. I know. We want to let Natalie show you some, give you some fabulous inspiration. Okay. So let's just do that now. So we're going to make one of those fantastic sun catchers that um, Sheila mentioned earlier on. So I've got a piece of um, black mirror, which you can see here, which is going to give you a really nice effect when you've finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my cut in die and then I'm going to add my oval um, aperture. So once you've got that nice and straight and nice and in the middle, then we can use um, some of our low tack tape just to stick that down so it doesn't move. I'm going to run that through our um, Gemini. Now, some of these, actually, quite possibly all of them, can maybe not the star, but we can definitely check that. I think most of them will fit through your smaller die cutting machine. Yes. Is the star too wide or is the star? Uh, no, I think if they're less than, um, no, they'll fit through because I think they've got to be less than like six inches. So it'll all fit through your die cutting machine, won't it? Apart from your tiny ones, of course, but it'll go, they'll go through your big machines, your like your Gemini Junior. Have you got the junior there? Are you on the I'm big on one? I'm on the big Leslie? one now because yeah, we swapped it last English. week for the gingerbread house. But um, yeah, you can definitely use them through the smaller ones, which is great because obviously not everyone has the big ones. No. They also work with sort of like your physics machines, things like that. Okay. So we've run this through. And what I want to do is I want to pop that out and pop it through again because we're going to um, put these back to back. So once we've got our first one, out we'll pop that back through i just want to make sure that all of the bits are out of the die because we don't want it to mess up when we put it through again so just making sure that that lines back up again we'll put our tape on either side oh it's just moved there we go we'll put our tape down there and then we'll flip that back over and we can run that through our machine again. So we have two pieces. And then they're so easy to pop out that you don't necessarily need to have your um, brush. Obviously, if you have it, it's a lot easier to get the pieces out of there. Let's just wait for this 
to go through. Oh no. I'm trying to bring it back. Is it gonna come back? Is it not coming back? Is it gonna at the other end? <laughs> no, it's keep your, maybe keep your finger on it a little bit longer if you Maybe I broke it. No, you've not broke it. I'm sure you've not broke it. It'll be fine. Have you got other plates out at the other end? Not just yet. Oh, now I've turned it off, so this isn't going to help. I'm sure it'll be fine once you put it back on. Sometimes they um, have I think a minute. I just pressed the button too many times there. Have you confused it? <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's coming. It, it's just deciding. We um, on Friday. You may have seen my show where the same thing happened to me with the cotton boss. I just could not get the dyes through, and there's nothing worse than when you're doing it live um, that it jams or it stops working. But my magnet from a stamp press had obviously uh, I put my die down, and it actually jumped onto the back of the die. It wouldn't go through the machine. I was like, why would it go through? I tried it three times. When I actually turned it over, that's why my magnet was trying to go through as well. So, yeah, these things happen. But can be pesky. They can be pesky, pesky, yeah. But you've done it now, haven't you? So then so I'm using worked. a piece of parchment and I've just put through that um, oval because obviously you can stick it and then cut it around, but you can use the outside die to get a really precise oval. So hopefully this will go through because I'm not going to mess with it. <laughs> I'm just going to let it go, go through one side. I think if they could talk sometimes, they would say, no, oh, I want to go through all the way. Oh, don't keep I think the problem was is that I was trying to reverse the Gemini. Yeah. But I was, I kept pressing the like the play pause button, <laughs> yeah. so it didn't want to didn't want to do what it was meant to do. So now we can pop out all of these pieces, um, and they are so it's such a good die. Um, obviously, having a good quality die cutting machine um, helps massively, but they just pop out I'm just like flicking them out really yeah and it's all sort of popping out of those gaps so once we have these clear so there's one and then we can do the same with this one just create a mess everywhere yeah and it's well, all right it's all right when you do that here because we have, there's a cleaner here isn't there Sheila so yeah she comes in with the hoover and it's, she... it's not going to be sometimes though That's it's nice. like when you're at home and you're crafting and you die cutting you make such a mess and then you sort of turn around and you see all the mess you've created. Uh, yeah. It fills me with so much dread because as you know, Sheila, I don't like to tidy. No, I, I know you sometimes leave a little trail behind, but it's okay. the this, tidiest um... of persons. So, so we've got most of those bits out now. So have you cut that from our black stamping card, Natalie, our or from black Miri? Miri. Our black Miri card. Um, so it's going to give you that sort of glossy finish. So now we've got um, those two ready to go. I'm going to take, let's close that. I'm going to take my parchment and I'm going to use our watercolour pencils. Um, now, if you wanted to, and you wanted to make it look like the stained glass window and have all the different elements, different colours, what I would suggest is getting a piece of the paper pad and popping the paper pad underneath the image like this so you could see which areas need to be what colour. However, we're just going to create a really nice sort of ombre with this. Um, I'm going to do it like a, a sunset because then it'll look like um, the sun is coming through the window, which I think will look absolutely beautiful. So what I'm nice. doing is I'm just um, taking my colour, my colouring pencils, and I'm going to do sort of oh three quarters of this yellow. Oh. And I'm sort of cross hatching, so I'm going across one way with the pencils and then back the other way with the pencils. And this is just going to make sure that there's a lot of pigment down on your um, parchment. And then we'll go in with the orange. So the same again, about three quarters of the way up. I'm just going to run it through into that yellow as well because we want to create. A nice ombre effect. So 
So then we'll go across the opposite way. And then back over just to get as much pigment and sort of coverage onto the parchment. You can see, you'll be able to see areas where it hasn't um, properly got on there, but we can keep going over until it has. This is really nice. Um way of doing it isn't it and particularly if you like colouring as well yeah um i guess you could still you could even use your alcohol markers for this couldn't you on the parchment it yeah you definitely vellum. could use your alcohol markers you could um you could potentially use your inks if you left it to dry sort yeah. of long enough yeah um so then we'll just keep going with this till we've got that nice colour running all the way through and then this is a, a technique that um, I think some projects in the next magazine use this technique um, our fantastic Jane in the office is the queen of parchment yeah um, and she she did some projects that she brought in um, that used this and they're absolutely stunning and so I thought that what a great idea I'm gonna have to show that um, when we do the next Facebook because it's a fantastic fantastic thing to do so once you've got your colour down I've got a piece of like blue roll kitchen roll so we're just going to take a small bit and then we've got some baby oil here I don't know if you, yeah, if it has to be this type of oil I don't know whether you could get away with kitchen oil mm, like cooking oil I, it might I mean the yeah kitchen oil sure like olive oil or something might be a little bit more kind of do you think it'll be might too it. thick um, oh, but, I don't know if I've put too much on here. Baby oil should. So I'm just going to just put a bit down and then I'm going to get a clean piece of tissue um, to sort of rub that in and you'll see that it sort of disperses the colour because you can't use, um, you can't use our brush, water brushes to do this because what would happen um, would be that the parchment will get really wet and it sort of wouldn't um, blend in nice nice as it would on your watercolour card. So you have to use a different type of um, mixing medium, shall we say. So baby oil does the job. And you can see there that you've lost that sort of harsh lines and you can go over that, you could add more colour, you could make it more vibrant, but we're just going to leave it like it is. And then I'm going to take some white craft glue which I'm going to put down on an acrylic block because um, I, I hate um, messing up my the mats. mats. Yeah. You can never get your glue off. And then we can just pick up um, sort of the, the glue off there, making sure it's definitely around the edges. And then we'll stick this. As you're doing that, Natalie, like I'm just here. I was looking at how much um, that because it's an oval probably and, and the colours you've used looks a little bit kind of like an Easter egg and then I was thinking oh my goodness you could probably use these for Easter cards couldn't you? Yes, yeah. Um, you know I know not necessarily the nativity scene but I'm sure you could actually incorporate it somehow um, into Easter because it does you know that's the celebration of um, of, of Jesus rising again and again you've got baby Jesus on the on the actual nativity so there might be a way of, of using that as well but I think the um, the angel or even if you just wanted to do the out of um, oval frame. die to create some um, some Easter eggs you could do that so again it's another way of using that die not necessarily with the angel but with the oval shape okay so then I've got the second die I've used that craft glue to pick it up and then I'm just going to do you know what? I've done this the wrong way. I was supposed to do it backwards. So I needed to cut it backwards oh, into the black. Yes, cut it. Okay. Yes, of course. I was just thinking about that. I was thinking about that. which we ones are symmetrical. But That's um, me. So that we'll take. Still, we'll read. Will we'll, work, wouldn't it? It would still work, but you're not going to get as a clean finish on it. So we can we can recut it. It's fine. We've got time. Yeah. Got time for these um, mishaps and mistakes. Yeah, so you'll have to do it on the. So you need to do it on the reverse. On the reverse of the, unless your card is double sided, which case you could um, you could do it. Yes, that you way. could just flip it. If yeah. I was to use black um, 
stamping card, I yes. could have just flipped that image. Of course, and it would have you can just turn perfectly. it over, or same with if it's double sided, you can flip it over. But look at that. But we're going to have to do it. You can get three um, actually from one sheet. One sheet. I wonder if. I bet you could actually. I'm just looking at the size of that. I wonder if you could. You could get, probably get four if you, you did get it the four. other I'm way around. You could get four. I'm just looking here by putting my. Yeah, I think you might. At a squeeze, at a push, you might get four out of an A4 sheet if you do them um, almost like a A6 size. If you imagine cutting um, an A6 card, you might just get four. So then we'll run this through our die cut machine again. Making sure that that is going to go through. Put our plates together. I think with the other one, you could get four, you know, you could cut it um, four times, couldn't you? Not the oval itself, the outer frame, but the inner frame. So you cut into it four times from A4, and then you could put some colour or something behind the four images and then put those in a big A4 frame. Um, you know, so you could do different colours behind. What was that artist that used to do um, crazy things with colours? Like with photographs. Oh, I can never remember the name of the artist. I'm sure somebody will be able to tell me. So it would be like four images of a head. That's it, Andy Warhol, yeah. We used to do the colours. You could kind of create that effect, but by cutting the four angels um, and then putting them in a four frame. Um, and create something again a bit more kind of contemporary artwork like it would be fantastic sense. it's it's just i think stained glass as a whole not just in paper crafting but stained glass is a, such a really um i think un underestimated craft it, I yes think it's so lovely um i love seeing it on houses as well as you know on front doors yes definitely um, i remember our old front door used to have a beautiful stained glass um, imaging. Yeah. I absolutely love it. It's just, it really does brighten your day just seeing um, an image that's just covered. And when the sun comes through it as well, oh, and you so get the colours on the carpet and on the windowsill. I was just thinking as well, now we're talking about um, stained glass. You know what would be really nice to do um, with this? I don't know if any, any of you have tried this before. Um, I've done it with stamps where you actually stamp an image and then you paint. Um, paint it with glass paints. Yes, yeah, so, you could do that. Um, yeah, if you've got a brush and some glass paints, if you actually, rather than painting it in strokes, you have to let the um, the paint sort of just blob almost a bit like it's a bit like a glossy accent so it's a bit more oily but thicker than a regular paint. So you kind of would drop it through or just blob it through all those little sections and then when it dries it would dry shiny. You could use that then. You could actually cut it there we um, go. and then maybe even use it as a stencil with glass paints. Take it off and then even use, you know, you can buy like lead effect paint from a tube yes. in gold and silver. So you could even do it like lead in the gaps where the stencil was. That would so be really it end cool. So ends up looking like a proper proper stained, stained glass. glass window so okay. that, that's an idea might might try that with some i have rectified paint. my mistake hey. that was me getting too excited Here we go. so then when it's the right way around it will match up so we'll just put more glue around there making sure it's on those outside edges so it um encapsulates that parchment and then you can line that up there we go and it is just a little bit off on this side because obviously it is a die and the dies do move. So unless you get it perfect both times, it's going to create this nice sort of white edge that you can see that sort of highlights um, the images. But once that is all in there, we can just take a craft knife and I'm just going to cut the parchment out of this top um, bit here. Nice. And we can use this little piece to thread um, some ribbon through. This is probably a bit thick actually, but um, you could use whatever you have at home. I will pop this through, but you can make, you could do this with a loads of different, um, with different layers and make them quite thick. So they're quite um, durable and they last, but you could have these um, on your stalls. These would be, I would, really? these would look amazing on little stalls. And then you can hang that um, in your window um, and that will just shine beautifully 
um, in the sun. It looked amazing today with the Wasn't sun shining. Just... Um, but it's just a really nice way of creating something that's a little bit different. Um, yeah. Something that is not just a card, but some something that's going to last like a gift, a gift. Yeah, that you can use time and again. And um, you know, looking at that now, you've put the ribbon on. It, you could always use it as like a bookmark if you're reading a big book, couldn't you? You could yeah. use it um, as you could hang. Um, like some nice crystals on the bottom or some beads. You could make so a it little wind chime. It, and then it does, yeah, you could do it as a wind chime. Um, but I just ooh, love that idea and I think it's a really good technique as well. Definitely. Um, using the pencils and the oil to sort of um, make the colour colour move. It's absolutely fantastic. But now we're going to show you the fantastic paper pad. Yeah. Because the paper pad is really We good. are, because I was dying to show that before and then it I was, was like, oh, you're like, oh, I've, oh even, no. I've just totally detracted from <laughs> Natalie's very important demo so I do apologize um I'm jumping ahead we do get excited sometimes and I think we read what we've got coming up next and then we just miss a vital bit so anyway let's show you um the peace on earth pad so for those of you who we could see that people are asking is there a paper pad to this are there papers there are not um separate papers unfortunately but we do have the fabulous paper pad six by six and there's 48 sheets in here so if I turn it around first of all and show you um, how it's made up so we have the four designs which match the um, dies in four different colorways so um, really really nice I'm going to show you now if I turn it this way and I found last week that if I flick through um, let me move this way Da -da! I can flick through it better like this um, so what you get is you get some of the images that are printed here so you're going to get four of this image in the green with the angel and then you're going to get again totally different colours here so you've got that lovely kind of lilac background um, four of that as well and then we have got the nativity again with that lovely kind of ombre background but this gives you um, really really nice different options of, of making different styles of card now if I show you the next one this is more like the stained glass window that you are probably all envisaging. Um, now, what we have just done, like Nat has just shown you, you don't cut it from the page. So you don't put the die on the page and cut it. You actually cut the die from um, black card, gold card, white card, whatever you want to. And then you put that on top and that's where your colors then come out. And then you get all the details shining through. If you want to, as some of our um, team have done, they have actually cut it from the pad, directly from the pad, and then laid it up. It gives you a totally different effect. Um, but the concept behind this was to actually cut from another colour and then place it on top of your pages here. So you can see some of the pages have actually got um, just the shape itself with a background, and then some of them have actually got a more detailed background like this with the lovely black borders so again you can cut into these you can cut out of these you just stick these onto a six by six card cut out the um, stained glass effect from black and place it on top and your card is basically done um, but I love the fact that we have got such a wide array of colors in here it's quite amazing because we've gone right from traditional red greens and golds for Christmas right through to blues purples we've got oranges in here as well um, so they're really really lovely lovely color palette and I think um, you're going to really enjoy using them I, do you know I love this one this one looks so much like um, it's quilted almost like a like a quilted blanket or a cushion cover once you get this home and you look at the detail in it, you'll see it's got that really nice kind of soft textured effect as well. Then we've got the fabulous star. Um, again, with that lovely deep blue and purple background. Then we've got our robin again. This time we've got some nice oranges and lime greens in here. Some light blues. Really, really lovely. Then we've got the star now with the background. And again, this reminds me of kind of a more... Moroccan or bohemian style which is very in fashion at the moment both in clothing and in home decor as well um, then we've got the lovely nativity scene in the purples and the reds so nice rich deep colors and then we have 
our traditional um, green and red and a bit of gold for Christmas. And then our final one is the lovely um, star again in those nice kind of purples and greens this time um, with some kind of lemony mustard colour in there. So it's a really, really nice pad. Um, because you get four of each design, it means you've got lots of options in there and you can mix and match in amongst the pages if you like. The pad, as you can see on the screen, is £9.99. Um, it's a really, really lovely addition. If you don't like colouring, it's great because it means you the colour's done for you and you can just kind of tear at the page and then put the cut image on top so you don't even have to bother getting your pens out. But if you do want to use your pens, as Natalie has shown, you can use um, colours as well. So that is our lovely pad. Now, we've not only got that, we have got our stained glass um, stamps here. So we've got the alphabet set. These are stamps, so you've got the two alphabets in the uppercase. They are only in uppercase, but we have two different sizes. Um, so it means depending on what size card you're doing, our projects, it will work. We've also got numbers on there, right through zero through to eight. The six, you can use as your six or your nine. So you turn it either way, it can become both numbers. And then we've got these fabulous borders down the side here. And we've got these almost like little tiles in the squares. And uh, we've got another border at the bottom. We've got a circle as well. And then we've got the three stars. So it's got, you've got 72 stamps in here. I, I can't find that hard to believe. Um, but yeah, you've got stamps. 72 stamps, which include the borders, the alphabets and the patterns. £16, this is an A4 sheet. So this is a really big sheet of stamps. And if I uh, turn it round so you can see the back, it gives you a little bit more uh, kind of inspiration as to how you can colour these in and again create that um, stained glass effect but with um, with stamps um, which is really really lovely I think you can create backgrounds with it you can personalise things so a really really lovely stamp set and that ties in perfectly with, with the rest of the kit so um, did we say Emily the whole if you buy the whole lot is that with the pad and the stamps? It's 49, not the stamps, the, the pad dies. and the die, sorry. It's yeah. 49.95. The stamps are an extra, uh, but it might be worth, if you're going for the dies and the pads, to get the stamps as well, and then you've got the whole um, collection, and then you've got it for years to come, and you can use them time and time again. Right, now we've shown you our lovely collection. We are now going to go across to Natalie for some ever-important hunky-dory headlines. Good morning and welcome to our Hunky Dory headlines. My name is Natalie McFancy Pants. On Hunky Dory TV this week, we have four shows for you. Um, we start the week with the craft show right here, right now. Tomorrow, the 11th of August at 10 a.m., we have our first craft along um, with me and the fantastic Kelly. We're gonna be using our latest club gift, so make sure you get yours out and you are ready to craft. On Wednesday, the 12th of August, we have a new launch party with Sheila and Dan. If you liked our silhouette stamps, you're gonna love these. On Friday, 10 a.m., it's time for Thank Craft It's Friday with me and Sheila. And it's going to be a brand takeover. Um, so get yourselves ready for a little brand takeover. And remember to book the date so you don't remember. And um, there may be a clue in the name somewhere. Breaking news. Um, there has been a number of break-ins over at the car park. The police inspector has said it was wrong on so many levels. Oh, it's a car park, oh. levels, Emily. Gosh, <laughs> story, Emily, multi-story. Gosh, <laughs> stock updates. <laughs> the trim me insert pads are all back in stock on our website. Sunset silhouette stamps are going to be back on in stock on Wednesday. Card blanks will be coming back into stock throughout this week, so pay a t keep your eyes out for them. In other news, a man knocked on my door and asked for a small donation towards the local swimming pool. I gave him a glass of water and wished him all the best. <laughs> Create and Craft TV this week. Tomorrow, you can find Sheila live on Create and Craft at 7.30 a.m. for a one and a half hour with a brand new snowy silhouette stamps. Pauline's going to take over on Wednesday, the 12th at 1.30 p.m. However, 
I don't think there'll be many left. <laughs> then on Saturday, the 15th of August, Sheila will be live on Creating Craft with our brand new Forever Florals launch. Um, you can catch Sheila at 9.45 in the morning and 6.45 in the evening. That one's gonna be a special one. Now it's time for our thought of the week. Thought of the week. Money won't buy you happiness, but it will fund your crafting habits. And that concludes the hunky dory headlines for this week. Thank you very much, Natalie, um, for the news bulletin there. Um, and we'll have more like that next week. Definitely. <laughs> Eventually, we'll probably have news headlines every day because there'll be so much to tell you. And we've always got loads going on in here at Hunky Dory. So um, eventually, it could be more of a, rather than a weekly thing, it could be twice weekly. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? Anyway, we are going to just review our competition question now. Um, for those of you that have tuned in a little bit later or have just tuned in right now, we have our regular weekly, winning weekly competition. And this is giving you a chance to win the personally yours alphabet script die. You've got 27 dies in here. I'm going to show it to you now. There will be four winners. Um, now you can see here, this is a most, uh, one of our most used die sets actually. And it's also very beautiful. You can see the lovely uppercase letters goes right through the alphabet, giving you the size here. So you can see it in comparison to my uh, fingers there, they're quite large letters, really useful. You've got half of them on the panel there and then the other half are inside the packaging. Um, so don't despair that is a whole alphabet in there. Um, you've got 27 dies because you've got the, um, if I show you here, you've got the amphisand as well, just at the bottom there. So you can personalize things and put and in there. What we need you to answer is the question that's now on your screen, which is who is currently our box making champion? Is it A, Dan? Is it B, Super Saver Man? Or is it C, myself? Um, we need you to like, share and comment to be in with a chance of winning the uh, dies will have four winners and the winner will be announced well the winners will be announced on friday on our show on friday so now we're going to uh, bob back over to natalie she's going to do us another little demo with the fabulous peace on earth stained glass collection so let's go and see what she's going to make i'm going to make a card with a fantastic robin um picture here so i have three of my pages already laid out here um, this is going to be my first layer so I'm going to stick this onto um, my mirror so I'm just using um, some finger lift tape so that's going to be really easy to pull off so we have that and we'll layer this onto our mirror so this has been cut down this first panel um, so it is going to give you a quarter of an inch um, a edge around in that gold mirror and then we'll stick this straight onto our six by six card blank. Like, oh, make sure that that lines up nicely. We'll stick that down like so. So that is our first layer. For the second layer, I'm gonna take my piece and I'm gonna trim it um, around the edge of the lovely border so i'm just leaving um a little of the red here i'm just using just doing this by eye i'm not doing this any in any particular way so that will just give us that nice um image around there so then we can take this let's measure what this is so this is i'm gonna it's five one, two, three, four, and five eighths. Yep. And then we'll trim this down to, is it five and a quarter? Is that going to give me the right length? I think it will. We're going to trim this to five and three quarters. And hopefully it will fit on nicely. Yep, so we're going to stick that on and that's going to give us another sort of um, level to our card. So we'll stick this onto our mirror. Again, you've got that nice even border on there. And then I'm going to use some foam pads. Get 
some of the big ones. Um, and we're going to stick this to the front of our card that we've already put together. Um, and this is just going to add a little bit of dimension. So we can add this onto our card like so. And then next up for our final layer, um, we've cut our image out of gold miri again and then I'm going to use my scissors because they're so they're so easy to cut out sort of the elements that you want to so I'm just going to use my scissors to trim around um, the robin there and I've add, kept in with him the little holly wreath we're going to use some white craft glue to stick him in place onto our paper pad We'll just stick him onto the image so he's nice and in place. And then once he's on there, we can use our scissors again just to go around that outside edge, um, following the guide that the Miri creates. Um, and if you wanted to, you could use your um, craft knife here to get into all of the little nooks and crannies um, but I really find that using scissors I don't know why but I find it so much easier to cut paper pads with scissors yes yeah me too I would always use a craft knife if it was cardstock but with um with my paper pad scissors are definitely definitely the one you, you quite like using a craft knife, don't you? I love you. Yeah, I do love a bit of fussy cutting. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, when it comes to anything like this, a paper pad or a little book or, do you know the A5 paper pads we do with the collection sometimes? Yes. Always, always use scissors for that. I yeah, think, me I, too. I think in it's fact, just, I use scissors all the time for cutting. It's I'm just a bit more flexible. Yeah. Um, so it gives you that sort of space to to move whereas you wouldn't get that flexibility with you in with your craft to, knife. Uh, competition questions, Sharon Costello said, um, the answer's A, Dan, if you count cheating, but, <laughs> but the real winner should be C, Sheila. Oh, how nice is that? <laughs> That's really nice. Team Thank Sheila. you, Sharon. That's, uh, at least I've got one person on my side there. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start really another funny. war here, aren't yeah. we? Don't worry, this competition will... It's only just in the beginning stages. This is going to hot up throughout the year. Don't Definitely. you worry. So, <laughs> now we can just add our Robin there. I've just added him onto some foam pads. Um, so he's got some more added dimension. Um, but then look. it's just... Re it was so simple to put that together. It's really cute, um, isn't but it? But look how beautiful the effect you cre can create with there. And if you had the whole piece you could maybe add um the gold around just this border here and leave the leave the center circle out there's so much sort of like cutting ability to these dies you can you can cut bits out of them you can cut bits into them you can paper yeah. piece with them um, yeah. i just think they're a fantastic addition to anyone's craft room yeah i think there's something a little bit different aren't they they're um they're really really nice thank you very much uh, natalie for You're that welcome. lovely little demo um so we are going to just give you now um have you got some other cards to show there or not i natalie? think i showed all of them i think we have. we just wanted to check Yes, yes, we haven't done that yet. Let's show the VT because we had some specially for you. So let's just go back and show you this. Okay, we were just uh, admiring some of those on there because we see so many cards come through that we sometimes forget, don't we? Yeah. And as it's showing, I was thinking, oh my goodness, I really like that effect on there when with the way it was photographed. And yeah, really, really nice. We hope you like that little uh, bit of inspiration there for you if you are going to um, join us and buy these fabulous collection. And it just gives you a few tips and ideas if you're new to die cutting as well on how 
simple a concept it is, but how effective it can be when you use those dies with the paper pad. You can create some beautiful, very professional looking uh, finished cards. Um, so we are just going to, um, do we need to give the question once again? No, um, no, okay, we, we think you've, uh, you know what you're going to win and but the competition will be on the website anyway and the winners will be announced on friday so um as natalie mentioned we have some shows coming up this week on creating craft um tomorrow i'll be on at 7 30 a.m that's an early start it is so an early at start. the studio for about six in the morning you're um, normally awake at like four o'clock in the morning though Sheila. yeah i do be, wake up be, very you'll early be bright so and early by then. i'll be bright i'm bright and early in the morning by the time we get to tea time i'm i'm flaking a bit but um yeah so i should be on at 7 30 in the morning with our fabulous new collection of our snowy um silhouette stamps they are beautiful um so do tune in and watch um watch that show and then pauline will be back on again with those at 1 30 um Tomorrow is, is Pauline back on at one thirty in the afternoon. Tomorrow she no, it's is Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, I thought. Yeah, it's Wednesday. So um, again, you'll be able to see what Pauline does with those. Um, we have got a product just behind me here. I'm just going to grab it, and this is what we are going to add to our rollover box this week. Rollover box is filling up. It oh, is very cool. quite nicely now. So here we have our fabulous little Happy Town stamps. This is actually. The cutest um, nativity set ever. Um, really lovely with the wise men on there and the angel, and we've got the manger with uh, Jesus, Joseph, and Mary. We've got some other little sentiments on here as well. It's a really cute stamp that's going to be added to the rollover box. So we'll make sure that that goes in there right after the show. Um, we have. Another Facebook um, show tomorrow. Tomorrow. And it's going to be 10 o'clock in the morning, nice and early, with Natalie and Kelly. And that's going to be a craft along, isn't it, Natalie? It is going to be a craft along using um, our the club gift that we have on available now. Is it birthday yeah. Wishes yeah. is a yes. beautiful, beautiful kit. Um, so, yeah, both me and Kelly are going to be doing some demos, which is like, very, very exciting. It's really exciting. It you is exciting. Kelly in the hot seat. Yes, because uh, Kelly was introduced to you last week. Kelly's worked here for quite a few years now as uh, on our marketing team. Um, and she's currently kind of overseeing the marketing team, if that's the right word, isn't she? She's yeah. a... Um, while our lovely Becky uh, has gone off on return to leave for, for a while. So Kelly is doing a fabulous job and we've decided to rope a few more um, victims few more into our um, Facebook and our Hunky Dory shows um, so that it gives you more variation. We get lots of people's other ideas. We get new um, members of our team who are not necessarily demonstrators, but we're trying to make them be. Yeah. Um, so again, it'd be nice to have some new input, some new ideas. We hope you will welcome all of our new um, members as we gradually um, bring them along over the next few weeks. Um, thank you very much everyone for joining us today. We've had a really nice kind of relaxed casual show today with myself and Natalie. Um, and Natalie will be back in the morning, 10 a.m. Um, with that it. fabulous craft along. So if you've already got the club gift, get it out, get it on your table ready, go and do it this afternoon so you're ready to join in with the craft along and, and get some hints and tips and ideas and inspiration from both Natalie and Kelly tomorrow morning at 10. Um, so they will see you there and I will see you at 7.30 in the morning. Enjoy the rest of your day um, and keep crafting. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.